Uh, let's move on here. June 7, another player coming in. It was a big deal when it hit last week. Nathaniel Owusu Boateng from IMG Academy. You've got him rated as a uh, as a 94, I believe. Is that what you said? Yes. You gave him a 94 rating, which is what explain to people what that means. 94, you're projecting what out of Nathaniel Owusu Boateng there? Uh, it means he's a guy who's uh, likely to make an early impact and a guy who's like a you know, top 50 ish level, uh, prospect. Yeah. Okay. So that's what you've got him at, uh, taking an official visit. He set four official visits. Uh, he's got Notre Dame on deck. He's got USC, Michigan and Ohio state. Uh, let's look at some film of him and then, uh, we'll talk about, you know, where, where things are with his recruitment. Yeah. I mean, this guy too. Okay. Like this is where, when you're watching him, um, you, you see a difference in the kind of like twitch and the violence yeah. and the speed. And um, obviously he's a guy who could chase down a lot of things, right? Like he, he's right. a guy who's got sideline to sideline speed. Um, he can play on the perimeter. He really is kind of like a bigger version of his brother in high school mm -hmm. in a lot of ways. Right. And, uh, and obviously his brother was uh, a guy who played offense and was phenomenal. On, on offense too like go watch go back and watch some of his receiver highlights yeah. but you can see some of this stuff like where you know he's playing off the ball and um you know from an inside linebacker position and not just in space but he can play in space he can rush off the edge he can uh get after it as a blitzer um you know and, and just just i mean right there he's a playmaker He's a playmaker, right? Like he's a guy that is around the ball and makes plays all the time. And um, certainly one of the best linebackers in, in this whole entire recruiting class. And um, a guy that uh, when we're talking about like you want to have game records, guys that can be difference makers. And when you're playing like the best competition in the country, mm. he's one of those guys. So that's why you would want him in the class. So – I'll tell you what gives me hope here. Um, they did. He came to, he came to Notre Dame on the first time and it was like, okay, like, is it going to be, are they, is this going to be like a one-time thing? He sets an official visit. So that's good. Right. The other thing is the other schools involved. You don't have Georgia in there. You don't have Alabama in there. Now maybe he could visit later. Right. But you don't have those Southern schools to where it's like, you say to yourself, a, like man, it's hard to come. It's hard to compete with that southern kind of uh, pull if he wants to be a part of that, right? We're talking about USC, West Coast, Michigan, and Ohio State, both Midwest teams. Now look, Ohio State obviously formidable. Michigan doesn't recruit. This would be a pretty pretty big pull for them. They don't recruit that well. You know, they have five commits in the twenty twenty five class right now. Um, they they just don't have that. Like, I, I guess what I'm trying to say is, like, I like Notre Dame's chances more so against this crop of teams than if it was, like, Notre Dame, Georgia, Alabama, Florida. You know, like, it's like, ah, he, like, there's a bunch of Southern schools in Notre Dame. Like, Notre Dame doesn't fit there. This is if a, Notre Dame uh, was just the total outlier. Yeah. Right. Like, they, they aren't. Like, he's clearly looking for a different type of situation. And I just think... Max Bulla, this is where he could be an X factor here. Because I'm telling you, man, he's got it. He's got a, a just something about him. I could absolutely see a bunch of guys being like, you know what? I just want to play for that guy. I want to play for him. I want to play in in uh, Al Golden's defense. You know, I want to play under Marcus Freeman, former linebacker. I mean, I, that, like the Al Golden defense, when you turn on the draft and they're talking about how it's a pro defense and, and you see Marist get drafted in the third round and there's, and the Cowboys are saying he knew how to do everything. He knew where everyone's supposed to be. He knew all the stuff that we wanted him to know. And he wasn't even the guy who was in charge of that. That was J.D. Bertrand, right? And so like, it's kind of like with Kyron Williams when – the Rams drafted him. It's like they're running all our concepts. So he was just an easy fit for us. Like I think with the NFL guys, that's going to start to resonate. 
You have Al Golden, who came from the NFL. You have Marcus Freeman, who played at Ohio State, and now he's at Notre Dame. And then you had Max Bulla, played at Michigan State, coached at Alabama, and now he's coaching at Notre Dame. I just think when it comes to linebackers, they have so many things going for them, including the fact that Notre Dame was really, really good defensively last year. So um, kind of where, where, do you, where do you see that? Yeah, well, one, I wouldn't discount Michigan. I think people, uh, you know, whatever. If people want to dunk on them now, and I get it. Like, d- please go ahead like, and, and have your fun because, uh, you know, uh, they just won the national championship, so please. And, and you know, go and try to pile on them if they have a bad year. Have fun, Notre Dame fans. Go for it. Um, but I, I'll say that, you know, in terms of their recruiting this year, I mean, so much of that is because they didn't really have it last year because so many of those guys were leaving and so many guys left too, right? And like Harbaugh has been like one foot out the door for like a year and a half. So it's it's kind of like a different situation. I mean, their kind of June officials is kind of like their chance to kind of play catch up. And Michigan, it doesn't matter who they've had as as head coach or whatever. They always land top guys. They They do. They do. And it's not to say that they've had some classes that are certainly inconsistent, but they've landed a lot of like five star kids It while they've done that, too. And way more so than Notre Dame. Right. They've been able to track like the Rashawn Gary's and the Dax, Dax Hills and, and these some of these guys that Notre Dame hasn't been able to even get a sniff at. Right. So um, and some of that is obviously too like they're. Uh, it's easier to get into school there. Right. And, and some yeah. of that kind of stuff too. But uh, it's also too, like, I know we want to hate on Michigan, but it's like Ann Arbor is not a bad place. And, uh, and they just won a national championship. So I, I don't, I wouldn't totally just throw them out that like, yeah, Notre Dame's for sure. Going to like, why would you even think of Michigan? Cause I, I, and I, cause I don't really know what exactly like who exactly leads because he's if you've read all the stuff that he said he's very glowing about everyone mm-hmm. which is fine right like and he might yeah. totally feel that way about everyone but and i don't know if anyone kind of knows him enough to get like a true read on what he really wants because a week ago if we were talking about him we would have been like man i don't even know if Notre Dame's in it you know, like, cause, cause he hadn't been talking about it right. and he hadn't said an official. And then all of a sudden he sets official, he talks about it and he talks about it all glowing. Now everyone's like, well, yeah, yeah. Notre Dame. We, yeah, I mean, we, we're, we're going to get him. Like, think about his brother and like, let's see what happens. Right. Let's see, let's see what happens. I mean, certainly the other three schools, although I I'm hundred percent in agreement with you that not having the kind of all sec programs and Notre Dame is the outlier. Like, that's a good thing this is much more similar to um, KVA and his recruitment in terms Mm -hmm. of like the schools you're going against, but it's also the same level of prospect where you're just like, this is that guy. He's one of the top linebackers. I think everybody wants him. They're all going to be like hyping him up and whatever and giving him, uh, you know, he, he's going to see all these different opportunities and, and certainly too, I think like uh, USC will be able to recruit defense better with the, staff that they have now too so i wouldn't discount them either um but all you can ask is like you know chip in a chair you got a chance you got a chance and you, you're you're gonna get him on campus and that's all you want with a guy like that and hopefully it helps that his brother won the friggin buckus at notre dame and was just an absolute stud there and and you know had a good experience at notre dame and, and is balling on the nfl right um, is now thriving that's the other yeah part. so that's something that i think uh is it's it's unfortunate that he kind of wasn't there while Freeman and Golden, so he didn't play for them or whatever. So he doesn't have that a little bit because I think that would help even more. But certainly he's going to know like exactly, um, you know what it what it means uh, to have these coaches here and and what they can do for linebackers. So, um, I mean, he it's it's not like I wouldn't even say he's luxury or whatever, but it's just like those are just the kind of guys you just when you want to win a national championship, you got to win these guys, just like you got to win the KVA battles. You got to win. You know, you got to land Bryce Young's. You got you got to land all those guys. Right. Um, 
And it's because when you're going down to it and when you're going to play Georgia in the playoffs, you're going to play, uh, you know, Ohio State. Just think about it. It's Ohio State. We can say all these kind of things, but there were so many different things in that game. Imagine if it was paid Bowen rather than DJ Brown on the last series. That's what just people are. That's that's all I say whenever anyone talks about. Ah, oh, this guy doesn't win. Just imagine that. Like all of these kind of things. Yeah. It's like those guys are difference makers, and you yeah. want to land as many of them as possible. Yep. 